You're an American who's now in charge of a football club despite possessing very little knowledge of the game. Oh! I know that AFC Richmond is going to give you everything they got, win or lose. Or tie. Right, y'all do ties here. Did you see that? He must be from England, yeah. Wales. Is that another country? Yes and no. How many countries are in this country? Four. Rick Hong here for Hollywood First Look Features. Today, I'm with Hannah Waddingham and Juno Temple, and we are talking their series, Ted Lasso. Hannah, so I wanted to tell you congratulations because I had the pleasure of talking with you last September. Now you've got the best comedy series and the best supporting actress. So how does it feel? Completely ridiculous. Because I'm still a silly little girl from South London. <laughs> it's all gone a bit bonkers since we spoke. Well, I mean, there was like genuine surprise on your end. My friend, I thought anyone else was going to win, more to the point. I was literally sitting there 100% as a very happy, very relaxed audience member. Yeah, no, she was. I can equate to that. I was there and I got to watch her enjoying these extraordinary performances of these little clips of all her other nominees. And genuinely, you were adoring them. And then when <laughs> when they said Hannah's name, I think I realized, I think the whole room of us realized before Hannah did. <laughs> I went into like, yeah. <laughs> Juno, I also wanted to play congratulations, best comedy series. And I actually had the pleasure almost a year to the day of meeting you in person at Lost Transmissions on the red carpet. So how did you like playing Keely this past year or this past season? Because I like, it gets so much, she, she's so much fun. And I'm usually known for like watching you play like these grittier, darker roles. Yeah, no, for, I mean, for sure. I think that's what I've always been sort of drawn to. You know, I think I've got quite a darkness as a human, which is all right. But I think <laughs> when I first got, you know, when Jason first reached out to me about playing Keely, I genuinely thought he had texted the wrong actress. I was like, um, ooh, I think he might think I'm somebody else. Honestly. And I think that uh, the joy of having been presented with playing a character like Key that really brings this sort of light into to, to this universe has been something that has been monumental for me. And especially in this time, it's been incredible for my mental health and the way I am existing in my own body. And I can't help but entangle myself in Keely and, and bring her home a bit, which thank God she's helping me a lot. And I'm so grateful that Jason believed in me for the role and, and, and that you know, these the, the, these incredible writers that are writing these brilliant scenes for, for all of us to play with and getting to have this incredible on and off screen relationship with this extraordinary woman here. It's been one of the greatest highlights of my life thus far. You know, actually, I'll tell you, like this morning, I actually woke up to a picture, I think, of the two of you. It's a candid picture. You're on um, Hannah's lap, giving her a big hug. And Hannah, I, I, I thought that when I was watching TV, I thought that your dress was black, but I believe it was purple. So like, how long did it take you to get ready? And did any like thought in your head at one point say, you know what, maybe I should just ask Jason for his sweatshirt from the Golden Globes to wear tonight? Hell no. If you knew me better, you'd say that's a completely <laughs> ridiculous suggestion. For God's sake. That was, was also, what, that was a third op, there was three gowns, weren't there? there yeah, there were three switch. gowns. And then we settled on that one because I was like, no, you, you go big or go home. And I thought, if I'm going <laughs> to happily sit here and not win, I want to look great losing. Mm. Well, I'll tell you what, you didn't look great. You looked fantastic. Beautiful as always. Thank you. Thank you. Like an old school movie star. She looks like Jane Mansfield to me. And far more comfortable because <laughs> I had no shoes on. Yeah. There was a lot of tulle yeah, there. That's what I loved even more about that foot shot. It was like a puff of tulle as well. It was. Great. And then, you know, so I got to ask Hannah about this. So I wanted to ask you, how much fun was it for you to shoot that girls trip episode in season one? Oh man, that was just heaven. And I think also heaven for Keely, because I think Keely is a girl that hasn't had a lot of girlfriends that are truly her girlfriends in her life. And, and I think she's always wanted that. And so it was also a moment where I feel, um, she's looking at these two women who have loved each other for a long time and she's like oh my goodness and now i'm a part of this this is really cool <laughs> and so it was um fun to shoot but also fun to play as a character to kind of feel like you know 
you're being loved by women that you admire as well. I think that was a big moment for Keely. And um, also, you know, it was a good episode in the sense that I got to kiss Brett Goldstein for the first time, which I wasn't mad about. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> The show is Ted Lasso. You can find it streaming now on Apple TV+. Plus. Until next time, I'm Rick Hong, and you've been watching Hollywood First Look. I always figured that tea was just going to taste like hot brown water. And you know what? I was right. Yeah, it's horrible. No, thank you. Welcome to England.